In part one of this little mini-series, we will be taking a detailed walkthrough in room one, just to kind of explain the setup of our rooms a little more in depth for those who might be curious. One of the first things you'll notice when you walk into any of our cat rooms is that we have multiple carondas for our kitties. We like to make sure that they have plenty of different spots that they can hang out or take a nap. And the carondas are also really great for zoomies. Along with the carondas, we also have these cozy little cots in all of our cat rooms so that our cats have plenty of options to choose from whenever they feel like getting cozy or just relaxing. Our cats do have different preferences, so it is important to us to give them a variety of choices so that they can pick what is most comfortable for them. We also like to make sure that our kitties have a variety of toys to choose from in each of their rooms. We will also sprinkle some catnip in with their toys just for a little bit of extra enrichment. Here in St. Paul's, North Carolina, we get some pretty inconsistent weather, so we do also have heaters and air conditioners located in every single one of our cat rooms. We adjust them accordingly depending on what's going on outside. We also keep four litter boxes inside of every single cat room. They get scooped several times every single day and they also get cleaned and disinfected every single day. There is a designated scoop for each of our rooms as well. Once the scoop is used in that room, it is immediately disinfected and put back in the room. We do not use the same scoops in between our cat rooms. There are cameras in every single one of our rooms, inside and outside. This helps us better monitor our kitties. Sometimes things happen when we are not inside of the room to actually see it. So they allow us to go back and check things and ensure the safety of our cats. The cats, of course, gotta eat, so we keep a variety of different types of wet foods as well as dry food in the rooms for our kitties. Some of our cats like the wet food, some of them prefer the dry food, so we like to make sure that they have plenty of options. As we mentioned in our heat safety video on our YouTube channel, wink wink, it's important to have water available at all times, especially with how hot it's been getting lately. So we keep a running water fountain inside of all of our cat rooms along with a water bowl. And there is also a water bowl outside on the catios. Room one is one of our cat rooms that does have shelves on the walls. We have quite a few kitties here that love to use them as a safe space. We have kitties here that like to use them for napping or running around. So the shelves are a really good thing to have. It gives our kitties a place to hang out. It also is a little bit of extra enrichment for some of our more active kitties. We keep designated brushes and combs in every single one of our cat rooms for grooming our cats. We do groom our cats every single day just as a way to get hands on them and make sure there's nothing crazy going on. It is also great bonding time with our kitties. And of course, after we use them in the cat room, we immediately disinfect them so they can be put back in their designated room. Every cat room does have a cat door. This allows our kitties to have full unrestricted access to the insides of their rooms as well as their catios at all times. And they are able to go in and out as they please. Only times the cat doors are closed is if we are pressure washing the catios or if there is extreme weather going on outside. So the catios are basically a mirror image of everything that you see inside of our cat rooms. There's a couple of differences which we will talk about here in just a sec. The same as inside, we have plenty of carondas for our kitties to chill out on. A lot of our kitties, especially here in room one, love to hang out outside, so this is usually where you will find them. We have our cot outside with the blanket and the two beds on it. This, again, just gives our kitties some more places to relax and hang out at. Judging by the smush shark bed, it is being very, very well loved here in room one. These cots also serve for good hiding spots for some of our more shy and timid cats. A difference between the inside of our cat rooms and the catios is that we keep chairs on all of our catios. These are good for visitors to sit in when they come to spend time with the cats. Our cats also like to hang out in these chairs and sometimes the staff when they are spending time with the kitties during the day. We keep various types of scratchers in the rooms as well for our kitties. They really, really love them. Some of them actually scratch on them. Some of them like to just hang out on them like Mr. D'Angelo here. 
The wheels are something that varies between rooms. Some of our cats really, really love the wheels. They use them all the time. Some of our cat rooms, they could not care less about the wheel. Um, they don't use it ever. So the wheels kind of just depends on the cats that are in that room. Just like we have inside, we have four litter boxes outside on the catio. These also get scooped several times a day and also get cleaned and disinfected every single day. And during the hotter months, we keep fans going on every single one of our catios. This just helps keep our kitties a little bit more cool while they're spending time outside. And as I've mentioned before, we do keep fresh water available to them on our catios. This has been part one for a look inside. Stay tuned for part two where we take a walkthrough of room six in the back, which is a smaller room, as well as our lovely memorial gardens. See you then!